So you've narrowed it down to duplex or 316 stainless steel, but now comes the difficult question, which one's better for my operation? Don't worry, I'll go over all the fine details. Stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and woven wire mesh has been a prominent screening material since the early 1800s. While brass was a leading material used to weave mesh, customers soon began to discover the uses of other materials. As time went on, a changing of the guard within the material market occurred, and stainless steel was placed at the forefront of what was used in the woven wire industry. But to ensure your mesh meets your standards, you have to know how stainless steel compares to other materials like duplex stainless steel. Established in 1872, W.S. Tyler has been built on the idea of helping customers leverage the possibilities of woven wire to achieve results that bring value and increase efficiency. So in this video, we'll go over what duplex stainless steel is, the benefits duplex stainless steel offers, what 316 stainless steel is, the benefits that 316 offers, and how duplex and 316 stainless steel differ. Duplex stainless steel is a woven wire mesh alloy classified by its two-phase construction. Each wire consists of an even ratio of austenite and ferrite. So in addition to the two phases, duplex also consists of chromium, nickel, nitrogen, and molybdenum. The amount of each element present will determine what duplex category the alloy falls under. And there are four categories of duplex stainless steel. Uh, there's lean duplex, standard duplex, super duplex, and hyper duplex. But for this video, we will be focusing on standard duplex. Duplex stainless steel is known for having a heightened resistance to corrosion, specifically pitting corrosion. It also has a tensile strength that is superior to austenitic alloys. I should also say, duplex stainless has superior welding capabilities. This is all while the alloy remains pliable, more so than most alloys containing ferrite. 316 stainless steel is the most widely used 300 series stainless steel when weaving woven wire mesh. Its chemical makeup consists of 16% chromium, 8% nickel, 2% molybdenum, and less than 1% carbon. The minimal amount of carbon classifies 316 stainless steel as a, a low carbon alloy, which means there is a minimal amount of carbide precipitation. So when it's in the molten stage, the molybdenum is added to the 316 at the molecular level. This helps stabilize the alloy and increases its resistance to corrosion. The lack of carbon also helps build 316's resistance to corrosion. This is especially true when the mesh is exposed to moisture, as the more carbon present, the more likely the alloy will rust. A significant difference between duplex and 316 stainless steel is how resistant each alloy is to corrosion. While 316 has one of the best resistance to corrosive environments within the 300 family, duplex is far more resistant to corrosive pitting when chloride is present. There are noteworthy differences in the chemical makeup of both alloys. Duplex contains 18 to 28% chromium and 4 to 8% nickel, while 316 stainless steel has 16% chromium and 8% nickel. Also, the lower amounts of nickel contribute to duplex being the most cost effective of the two. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out the contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar, and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.